Oh, but you meet such colorful characters in taxis, like, like Alex Rieger and Tony, and that funny foreign guy who worked in a garage. Rieger, cab 402. Nardo, you and your luscious melons are in 315. Now get the hell out of here, you losers. Hey, Louie, what about the foreign guy? No way, Banta, he's a nut job. Come on, Louie, show a little compassion for once in your miserable life. All right, can of waterworks. Jackie Chan, cab 302. Hey, <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, you know, you people are nothing like the communists they show on TV. We now return to the communists. I hear report cards were handed out today. What were your grades? Uh, uh, uh. Quit Stalin and answer your father. <laughs> Go ahead, honey, and tell us your marks. Do I Khrushchev? Did somebody say Khrushchev? You notice? People will do anything for a beautiful person. Yeah, you know, come to think of it. Hi, I'm on a scavenger hunt, and I need a human foot. Well, as a rule, I would say no, but okay, come in. So, uh, so this is what? This is for like a school project? Ah! 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 It's just, I, I, I've been trying to teach Chris how to be a man, you know? First, I tried teaching him how to eat an Oreo. Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, Pull it apart and lick it. Now you. Then I tried teaching him how to get out of paying a check. Uh, waiter, there's a dead guy in my soup. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir. Of course your soup is gratis. Thank you. Now your turn. Waiter, there's a dead guy in my... Ah! Ah! All of a twit, if you ask me. I would have done things rather differently, I can tell you that. Please, sir, I want some more. What? Please, sir, I want some more. More? All right, stop it. Stop it right there. Now, go on, fill up the bowl. Go on. That's it. Now, put on this dress. Put it on! Now, Dance. Regret not going to my junior dance. But, but, Daddy, if you don't do what they say, they'll kill me. Sorry, Pumpkin, you know we don't negotiate with kidnappers. Family policy. Daddy, no! Please, please! She'll be all right. <sighs> Lois has had your car all week, and it's just been hell getting around. I actually had to rent a Mustang. God, I haven't seen everyone this miserable since that time we were tortured. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. W were you just whipping me, or did I just, did I just get bit by a mosquito? Hey, Lois, if, if, you, if you happen to see the dungeon master, can you, can you tell him his grandmother was just trying to work me over? Or I'm a retired baseball umpire who opens a bar. At the center of the earth. You know, we don't get many of you molten rock men in here. Well, at these prices, I'm not surprised. That's it, pal. You are out of here. <laughs> this is my fourth trip today. Just this morning, I went to Kentucky. Wait, 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 wait a second. You're telling me I flew all the way to Kentucky to get some of your fried chicken and, and the colonel isn't even working today? He, we, he did. What? I say he did. Is Mr. Sanders in? What's wrong with you? I say you, he did. The Colonel! All right, then everyone will get to see me and my wacky antics. Black! God, this is worse than having Ronald McDonald for a father. Bye, Dad. Don't wait up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Lisa. Come back here. You're not going out with all that makeup on. But, Dad! Upstairs!
You're a McDonald, not a whore. Even better than that dad on Lost in Space. We need to gather more information about this new planet. Don, you take my 16-year-old blonde daughter out in the chariot for the rest of the day. Penny, you stay here with me. And Will, you and the robot go out into the uncharted wilderness and take this mincing boy-hungry pedophile with you. This year I'm gonna try a more natural alternative. Ah, 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 sorry, Dr. Ling, I, I, I guess I'm nervous. This whole thing is a little weird. Ah, never you fear, laddie buck. I've been doing this all my life. You see, the reason your fleas are drawn to you is your kidney energy is being blocked by a dark chi, or what we call in my country, we Fung Chao Hu! Hey, Doc, you have to keep those two boxes right next to each other. Why? What do they say? I think we're through here. It'll give me time to catch up on my reading. Oh, usually there are so many distractions. Come into my home, will ya? Show you, you bastard. This isn't the first time I've been thwarted by my small statue. Okay, our next lot is number 15 in your program. This is a one-of-a-kind item, a super mega death ray. It's got the power to enslave the entire human race. Do we have an opening bid? Anything? We'll take any bid. It can enslave the human race? Come on, people, it's solid titanium. You! Over here in the back! Do I hear $100? Oh, come on. $5? All right, free? Enslave the human race, doesn't cost you a dime. Behind the fat chick! Nope. Go! Okay. <laughs> you never win anything. Remember when you went on password? This one is for Peter Griffin and Tony Randall. The password is flaming. You? Actor. You? Tony? You? A lot of famous people have done it. My son, your place is here in the Ice Village. You know nothing of Hollywood and its ways. But father, I have dreams and courage and the name of an excellent cosmetic surgeon. Fear not, someday word will reach you about the success of me, the great Eskimo actor, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Make Bring to our village. village. Just gonna let them recast me? Hey, it could have been worse. They could have gone with plan B. Brian, put a mask on. I have an announcement. Meg Griffin's plane was shot down over the Sea of Japan. It spun in. There were no survivors. Who do I see about the Section 8? And you even managed to humiliate me there. <laughs> Whoa, is that really the blood of Christ? Yes. Man, that guy must have been wasted 24 hours a day, huh? Oh, what? A lot of these famous types lead secret lives that we don't even know about. Like Ricky Martin. Ricky, 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 Ricky. One minute to curtain, Jewel. We'll move to England, eh? Worst they got there is, uh, you know, drive-by arguments. I say, Jeremy, isn't that Reginald D. Stiffworth, a young upstart chap who's been touting the merits of a united European Commonwealth? Why, yes, I dare say that's the fellow. Oh, let's get him. Oh, Reginald! I disagree! Oh, God, kill me now. Hello. Karen! It's gonna be my greatest victory ever. Except for the time I defeated my evil twin. Not me, Lois. Shoot him. I'm the real Peter. I don't know. Lois, look at me. You know your own husband, don't you? Thank God you made the right choice, honey. What was that? Nothing. Lois, you can't quit. What if Kurt Cobain had quit? Thank you. And remember, say no to drugs. Great concert, Kurt. The label's excited about your seventh album. Thanks. Oh, you remember my wife, Courtney Love? Who? Oh, ask your mom. I'm not very good with tough decisions. We'll be closing in two minutes. <laughs> Cleveland, there is no mob. You're thinking of the mob in the movies. 
How am I funny? I, I don't know. You, you say funny things. No, no, I mean, what, am I George Carlin funny? Am I Spin City funny? Rita Rudner funny? What? Come on. Rita Rudner funny. Yeah, Rita Rudner funny. Really? Oh, my God, thank you. You can write off medical stuff? Oh, jeez, if I'd have known that, I wouldn't have used that discount surgeon. Uh, I'm not sure which one to cut here. The red one or the b blue one? Okay, okay, just relax, just relax. Let's see. Uh, uh, first, why don't you attach that green one to that purple one? <sighs> okay, here goes. Oh, God! That kill me? Uh-huh. Yeah, I was afraid of that. All right, try the green one and the blue one. Come on, we gotta get back. The cameramen think we're taking Chris to soccer practice. We're gonna be late. Why won't you talk to me? Yeah, I was terrified of asking Phoebe Diamond to the prom. I finally got up the guts, but I, I had this damn nervous twitch. Um, F Phoebe? Yeah? Uh, I, I was wondering if if, if you'd uh, d do me the honor of... Uh... <laughs> and after my grandfather helped create one of this country's most beloved cartoon characters. Okay, we've narrowed it down to two possible names. Uh, all in favor of Bugs Bunny? Mm -hmm. And all in favor of Ephraim the Retarded Rabbit? <laughs> oh, you can all go to hell! Come on, Lois! Jeez, this is gonna be worse than that time we had to sit through your Uncle Jerry's snuff film. Are they really gonna kill that girl? Peter, please. People are trying to watch. This is Atlantic City all over again. You've got 20. Hit me. Peter, don't. Hit me. 21. Hit me. Peter. Hit me. That's 30. Hit me. Now, now hold on, Lois. Now, people do a lot of crazy things just to be accepted. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about this. Hey, we all did it. If you want to be a Supreme Court justice, you gotta pick up that cherry with your butt cheeks and drop it in that beer. Come on, come on, do it. Do come on, do it. Do it. Come do it. Jerry, go shoot it. Go shoot it. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't oh, believe he did that. So in! Hey, I've gotten people to believe crazier things. And if you are pure of heart and deed, you'll all go to a beautiful place called heaven. <laughs> I'm yanking you. You're just rotting the ground. How was your day? Uh, my day? Hey. Hey. You okay there, Mr. Crocodile? Huh? Wake up, wake up, wake up. You need some lotion, Mr. Badskin? Huh? 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 Yeah, there you go. Ah! 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 Oh, God! Oh, God! Ah! 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 Talking about, I'm a born leader. Like my great-great-uncle Ulysses S. Griffin. Juggle up, juggle up, juggle up, juggle up. Yeah! Woo! How's that, Robert E. Lee? All right, no more slaves. But we still don't have to read books. Deal. Yeah! The last time he left Dad home alone, he turned the house into a giant puppet. Hey! Hey! Stay out of here. Hey! Nobody, Nobody better, better come in here. I'm, I'm the Griffin's, Griffin's house. house. Bring, Bring me a tool shed, or I am hungry. hungry. That's it. Time for Doggy to go the way of Old Yeller. Old Yeller, did I get a call from Tony? Oh, yeah. He, uh, he left a message. I forgot to tell you. Is it on the machine? I erased it. All right. Out back. No, Ma. Yeller's my dog. I'll do it. Oh, come on. He'll call back. If I were big, oh, just think where I would be. Tired of not being able to find clothes that fit? I know I was. That's why I started Stewie's Big and Tall Man Shop. If you're portly or tall, you'll find a friendly atmosphere brimming with personalized and expert service. Hey, Stewie, how's the weather up there? Very fair. Like our prices. And undercover to get rid of the toad problem, so your school can be safe and innocent, like the good old days. Negative B plus or minus radical B squared minus 4AC over 2A. That's correct. A girl answered a math problem. You know what that means. A witch! 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 Well, you might want to bring some cash with you, because, you know, some places don't take credit cards. But, mister, I need real money. I can't take a credit card. Oh, I see. Cash only, eh? Eh? No paper trail, eh? What are you selling? Reefer? Crack? Smack? Horse? X? Shrooms? Dust? Meth? In my neighborhood? I don't think so. 
Chris. You don't want to mess with drugs. I tried them once. Big mistake. Things got way too real. Holy crap, I am freaking out. Well, I guess you're not the first person to do whatever it takes to win. You come to me and ask me to kill a man I do not know. Now I ask you, why should I kill this Count Chocula? Because that son of a bitch has been spreading lies. My cereal does not cut the roof of your mouth. With all respect. You know, I was quite a troublemaker myself when I was a kid. Look, you, your parents will be home any minute. Are you sure you don't want me to clean up this mess? No, no, no. Go, go. It'll be funny. Oh, it's when have we ever had trouble communicating? Oh, Peter, I love you. Yeah, about a quarter past five. Maybe a pool is another one of those things our family doesn't really need. Look, everybody, I got us another dog. What the? Hi, you guys have any cheese doodle? <laughs> See, that's what I do. I ask for a snack and then I blow the horn. You know, before I was married, I led a very exciting life. <gasps> oh, my God. The actress who was the girl in Escape from Witch Mountain. I don't want to go. I had a bad experience with a fish once. <gasps> oh, my God. My fish is gone. And he robbed me. What if something happens to you? I'm too old to start dating again. Okay, bachelor number one, I'm an ice cream cone. How are you gonna eat me? I'd invite my friend Rudy over and the two of us would give you a double dip. Ooh, okay, bachelor number two. Well, I'd lick off all the cream and give you my special whipped topping. <laughs> Sounds good, bachelor number three. Well, I would try to eat you really fast before I got flaccid. Ah, so beautiful. It's almost as if this world was created especially for me. You think he's onto us, Kristoff? No, he's an idiot. Hey, hey, at least you have a dad. When I was growing up, it was just me and my mom. Oh, looks like somebody's hungry. Oh, right. I mean, really, what could possibly happen if you left me home by myself? Great party, Griff. Girls, you know Jimmy Khan. Jimmy, make yourself at home. Hey, thanks. I meant to have a cheese doodle, but whatever, it's a party. Yeah, but it's not her fault. She just doesn't want to see me fall in with a tough crowd again. <gasps> Cavity creeps! We make holes in the teeth! We make holes in the teeth! What, what'd you do, sell your body to science? Because, uh, you know, I, I've thought of doing that. All right, uh, Jenny, would you come up here and show us where the femur is? Right, get out of here, you little bastard. I know this was the right thing to do. My son Chris is in charge of our space program. We hope to get to the moon very shortly. Almost. Ow! They should really use monkeys for this. Peter, we've got to do something. If Meg doesn't get into college, who knows what kind of future she'll have. You ain't getting this meat. This is my meat. Shut up. I found this meat. There have been scandals in politics ever since Thomas Jefferson. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Honey, let's get all the kids in this. Every year she wins and rubs it in my face. Don't worry, sweetheart. There's always next year. Congratulations on second place, Lois. Yeah, I had one when I was in high school. That'll be twenty-seven fifty. I haven't felt this crappy since the time I went to that museum. Why did all the dinosaurs die out? Because you touch yourself at night. I'll tell you, being on this campus really brings back memories. <gasps> Cowards! Well, Brian, at least you're loyal enough to stay with me. Ah, I've stuck by you through worse. Now I know how Barbara Streisand must have felt the day she married James Brolin. I love you. I love you, too. Ah, I'm so glad I married a regular person and not a celebrity. I knew that name. Damn you, Entertainment Tonight! 
Hi, I'm Bob Goen, and these are Mary Hart's legs. Mary, you recently spent some time with Julia Roberts, didn't you? Mary says yes. Last time I did any male bonding was when me and Cleveland went to Chinatown. Look, for forget how it happened. Can you just get us out of this? He's gonna grow up to be quite a man. Mm, that was incredible, Kevin. I'm not here to impress you. Am I, Dad? Did I say you could rest yet, thing? Oh, oh, you mean that growth? Yeah, yeah, I, I had the doctor look at that. Mr. Griffin, that isn't a growth. That's your penis. Oh. Well, what about the, uh... Testicles. Huh. Like your great-great-great-uncle Jabba the Griffin. Raja Nabadu, I go la walkie nipple pinchy. Got headphones so I can watch my Steven Seagal movies without waking Bonnie. Yes! Rock and load! Rock and load! Bring on the pain! I mean, I mean, you were pretty bad in bed Saturday night. Come on, Lois, move or something. She's just like doing it with a pillow. Peter, I stayed at my mother's that night. Oh. Especially Stewie. He's so impressionable. Oh, my God, please tell me we didn't do it. Well, you know, when I was your age, we had way better drinking games. Ow! Ah, uh, you drink. We'll probably have to buy a gift. And you know how bad I am when it comes to buying gifts. Happy freaking birthday, Lois! Oh, my goodness. It's a... Huh, another sword. Thank you, Peter. Go ahead, try it on. Trust me, Chris, sometimes it's better not to fit in. You're all stupid. See, they're gonna be looking for army guys. I spend my refund on a plug-in playmate. So, a school teacher. That must be interesting.